Coming up on Look Today, well, Carrie Werner held a press conference today at her new campaign headquarters in Saratoga. I've got details. And the Timber Framers Guild held a workshop today to debut a new structure. More on that coming up. And deconstruction work begins on the infamous Pink Palace in Saratoga. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Ann Costigan. She's a Deputy Executive Director of the Center for Disability Services. And we're joined by Joan Veeley. They're here to talk about the Bolathon fundraiser in honor of Joan's late son, Brian. I also sit down with Elizabeth Mann. She's a founding member of the upcoming Peace Fair, which starts on Wednesday, September 21st and runs for about a week in Saratoga. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, a press conference was held today at Assemblywoman Carrie Werner's new campaign headquarters. She is running for a second term against Republican Chris Boyark. Now, he won the Republican primary yesterday. The press conference was held to celebrate the opening of her new headquarters. Now, Carrie spoke to us on the policies and the important work she has accomplished during her first term. I work across party lines um, to the benefit of our communities. Uh, that's what they can expect from me. I'm hardworking, bipartisan, I get things done. Uh, and I will continue to uh, push uh, for, the pe for the interests of the people of the, of the state. Now, Mayor Joanne Yepsen of Saratoga Springs was also at the press conference to show her support. We spoke to her about the importance of Saratoga Springs being represented by Carrie Werner. I'm very excited about Carrie Warner. She has done a great job for our district. You know, when I first became mayor of the city, we didn't have an assembly person representing us. Uh, so I did one year without an assembly person, and this has made a huge difference to not only have a representative in this seat, but to have an active one that is passing 18 bills in her first term. I think that's probably unheard of. And she's accomplishing so much in economic development with uh, helping us with the ACO, uh, helping us with global foundries and how that can better impact our city and region. In other news, well, the Timber Framers Guild held a workshop at Fort Hardy Park in Schuylerville today. Mayors and nonprofit representatives to the historic Hudson Hoosick Partnership were present. The workshop prepared beams for the raising of an original timber frame structure. Well, now, the structure will be the home of the new Champlain Canal Visitors Gateway Center. Now, we were there today and we spoke to Neil Godden. He's the project manager for the Guild. It's been a really nice project. It's the Canal Regional Gateway Visitor Center that we're building. We've been working with the um, historic Hudson Hoosick River Partnership, and they've contracted us to um, run a workshop and teach local volunteers from their community and people from the Timber Framers Guild community, pretty much from Canada all through the states. We've got one person from Denmark to build this visitor center to come together and do the build. Wow. Okay, switching from weather. <laughs> switching from weather. How about switching from news to weather? Today saw overcast skies with temperatures in the 70s. Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, guess what? Deconstruction work on the infamous Pink Palace in Saratoga Springs has begun. Yes, you heard me correctly. Bonaccio Construction is spearheading the project. The old Skidmore College dormitory building, affectionately referred to as the Pink Palace, will be demolished and replaced with apartment complexes and parking spaces. Now, Bonaccio's original project would have installed about 53-unit apartment complex. However, that was met with a lot of opposition from the surrounding neighbors. Currently, the compromise is to decrease the size of the building to about 20 units. So we're going to have updates on this story as we gather more details. In other news, local primaries took place yesterday. Not only registered Republicans were able to vote. The contest focused on three Republican primaries in the capital region. Well, Mary Beth Walsh will run 
for the 112th Assembly District after this position was left vacant by Jim Tedisco, who won the 49th Senate District primary. Now, in the 113th Assembly District, Chris Boyark won the Republican primary over Gerard Moser. And currently, in the 114th District, Republican Dan Steck is uncontested. Well, we're currently, by the way, setting up a debate on Look TV between Republican Dan Steck and Green Party candidate Robin Barkenhagen. I'll keep you posted on that. Up next, sit down with Ann Costigan. She's the Deputy Executive Director for the Center for Disability Services. And we're joined by Joan Veeley. And they're here to talk about the Bolathon fundraiser in honor of Joan's late son, Brian. Plus, I also sit down with Elizabeth Meehan. She's a founding member of the upcoming Peace Fair which starts Wednesday, September 21st, and runs through Sunday, about a week, in Saratoga Springs. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got a couple of lookouts for tonight. First one, and you're going to hear a lot about this pink palace in Saratoga. My wife and I moved here in 1975. I remember driving down Union Avenue and thinking to myself, what the heck is that thing? Well, my other brother, Sonny Bonaccio, is going to take this building down. Now, you might have noticed in the footage that the name Jackson was on the side of the crane. That has nothing to do with me, although it would have. Uh, the other lookout, I want to remind any candidates running for office that just give us a call. I'd love to interview you and help you raise your profile for your agenda and let the people know who you are and what you stand for. You can call us at 798-8000. 798-8000. So if you're running for political office, any party, you call us, okay? Now, tonight on Look TV, it's the Saratoga City Council. And don't forget, you can tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.